Hello everyone, this is YLAM here. In today's Adobe Wednesday, I want to go over a feature in Adobe Premiere Pro. This feature allows you to reduce the background music when you're actually speaking in your vlogs. So it's something that's very useful. You can obviously do this manually, but this will auto do it for you and it saves a lot of time. So let's go ahead, dive into it and take a look at how you can use this feature. So as you can see right here, I have my most recent vlog open. This is vlog number 78. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag the timeline to the first spot where there's actually going to be music and I'm speaking at the same time. So here's what it sounds like. As of the recording of this video, the raw file conversion for Lightroom has... So as you can see, without any audio tuning, my voice and the background music is kind of competing for attention. Now what I can do is I can manually cut the music and then reduce it and also at the end and then manually reduce the background sound but that's actually very time intensive now for this particular vlog it would be pretty easy because i would only be making about three cuts but for a longer format it will be very time intensive there's actually a feature in adobe premiere pro that will do it for you automatically so let's take a look at that feature now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and go to the top and I'm gonna select the audio tab. And what this will do is it'll open up essential sounds over here on the right. I'm gonna go ahead and drag my video files a little bit smaller because I won't need that so that I can see my timeline a little bit better. So what you're going to see on the right hand side is there's going to be a set of options that are currently grayed out. The reason why it's grayed out is because we have no audio clip selected. Now let's go ahead and select all of my vocals so these three clips right here are all three of my vocals. If I go ahead and click on the dialogue, what that does, it'll tag my three video clips as dialogue. And this is something that's gonna be very useful when we wanna reduce the level of music. Now, once you have tagged it, there is actually a whole bunch of tuning you can do to it. Since I already went ahead and tuned my own clips in Adobe Audition, I'm not gonna use any of this. So I'm gonna go ahead and deselect all of this. Now what you can do is you can actually go into all of these tabs here and you can actually adjust your vocals as much as you want. And there is a lot of cool features in here. So definitely try it if you want to. There's also presets that you can use. But for my purposes, I already use Adobe Audition. I'm going to stick with my workflow. Now if there was a mistake in tagging your audio clips, you can actually hit this clear audio type and it'll bring you back to the beginning. So if you deselect all of your audio clips in your timeline, all of the buttons should still be grayed out. This tells you that you're at the very beginning. Go ahead, reselect your audio files, select that as dialogue. As I said, I'm gonna unselect all of this. Now, if you go to your timeline, you deselect it, it should go back to the main screen, but the audio dialogue should be highlighted. If you click on it, it'll show you what clips have that tag in your timeline. So these three clips are highlighted. So I'm gonna unselect that. What I'm gonna select now is my music. And when I select my music, I'm gonna go ahead and click music and the music tab will open up. Now there are presets that you can also choose for this, but I'm not gonna be doing any of that. What I do wanna select is ducking. This is the feature that we're gonna be doing. Once you select ducking, you wanna click on the ducking tab so that you actually open up the features. I don't know why it doesn't automatically open the features tab once you actually select it, but just be sure you click on it so that this will open up. In here, it'll show you what it's going to do. Now in the ducking section, what you're gonna see is you're gonna see ducking against. So this is what it's gonna compare the background music to, and it's already selected dialogue. So that's what we're gonna do. You can also do a number of other things, but for this particular tutorial, all we're interested is dialogue. So what we're gonna do the first time around is we're just gonna keep with the defaults and then just select generate keyframe. Once that button is selectable, Go ahead and go back to your timeline and re-listen to when your dialogue shows up compared to your background music. As of the recording of this video, the raw file conversion for Lightroom hasn't been out yet, so I've been taking all of my images. And As you can see, there is a definite reduction in the background music and the dialogue is much more present. It's much easier to hear. That's what we're looking for when we're ducking. Now, for my purposes, I actually prefer my ducking or my transition points to be a lot quicker. So right here in fades, instead of taking 800 milliseconds or a full seconds for it to actually reduce the volume of the background music, I wanted to do it much quicker. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in 100 because that's 
really where I want it to be. I want it to be super fast. That's 1100. I want 100. And then we can listen to it. As of the recording of this. So as you can see, the ducking or the actual transition to where the background music is very low. I went ahead and moved that into a fast transition. That's what I prefer. So that was a quick tutorial on how you can do auto ducking in which you can make your vocals or your dialogue much more present. And for people like me who don't have a lot of time for this, this is definitely a time saver and that's well worth learning. So if you have any questions, please leave it in the comments below. And until next time, thank you so much for watching.